All right, guys. So I wasn't gonna vlog until I got on the plane, but something very exciting just happened. We got a free upgrade to first class. Uh, Actually, it's later sitting in my seat. It's supposed to be my seat. But I gave him the window seat because that's what you do when you love someone. Murag, what's up with the Hadri? What's up with the Hadri? Yes, so he's taking a photo of Penguin Eat Shabu. Patay ni Duterte. Oh, so nice! <laughs> Here in Chiang Mai, I'm about to eat some breakfast. Later is obviously still sleeping, I guess, because I don't know where he is. And I have approximately 10 minutes to get down um, to the bus. So I'm gonna ciao. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys, quick change because I found out we're going to a temple today and I need to cover up. But we are in the organic market and I'm with Boom, who's taking us around. And Slater is up there with him. So this is a market where people sell their house goods. So we're gonna check it out. Oh, the best way to experience life as a local is the market. Oh, smells good. So this guy is now happy that he's gonna wake up for breakfast because he can eat all the local food. Oh, my dad would love this. Order juice, uh, passion fruit juice, and in order to turn on the blender, I have to ride this. I have to ride the bike to make myself some juice. What? Oh, so they're paying you? <laughs> Are you the one paying? No, you work. You work. They work for it. <laughs> had this really really delicious smoothie that was made of passion fruit and avocado and honey and a lot of other fruits that are grown locally here in this region and I had to ride a bike to turn the blender and to make the juice and that was really fun. This is how she get a fruit juice in Thailand. Oh <laughs> Faster! <laughs> Before you get a healthy drink, faster. Awesome, thank you. Uh, oh, how much is it? 50 baht, got it. Not bad. What do you want to buy? Uh, 100 grams of sausage. <laughs> <laughs> After the organic market, we went to Doi Sutep Temple, which is the must-see temple here in Chiang Mai. And they say that if you go to this region and don't visit that temple, then you haven't really seen Chiang Mai at all. So of course, we made a point to visit that as well. It is the most popular temple here, and the religion in Chiang Mai is Buddhism. I thought it was Hindu, but apparently it's Buddhism. And so when you visit Doi Sutep Temple, make sure that you bring a scarf or wear something that will cover your shoulders and your legs. You also might want to wear socks because in certain areas of the temple, you are required to take off your shoes as a sign of respect. And so you have to walk barefoot. And if you don't want to touch the floor, bring socks. Okay guys, we have two options, whether to walk up the temple, 350 steps? 306 steps. 306 steps, or ride a makeshift elevator. Naturally, she chose <laughs> And then we're gonna walk down, so... We're gonna walk down. That's the whole world, what are you talking about? Okay. 
we're supposed to have an immaculate view of the city, but it's fogging. <laughs> we're literally in the clouds right now. So the Doi Sweet Tap Temple was actually called Doi Oi Chang <laughs> um, before, and that Doi means mountain. So it used to be called the Mountain of the Sugar Cane. But then there was this hermit who lived under the mountain called Sweet Tap, and he took care of the villagers and gave them medicine. So they renamed the whole temple to his name. So now it's called Doi Sweet Tap. For lunch, we ate at Ginger and Cafe Restaurant, which is a fusion restaurant, sort of like an East meets West kind of thing. And so we had a lot of Thai food that had Western influences on it. It was really, really, really good. And then we headed to the Chiang Mai Grand Canyon, which is like a man-made canyon of sorts. And there you can go cliff diving, you can opt to do water sports, or you can just relax, take in the view, have a cup of coffee, or have some lunch. Just enjoy your time. Someone's gonna jump. From Thailand! So right now, um, we are back in the hotel, taking a bit of a rest because we had to get up at 7 in the morning, which explains why I have all of these eye bags here under my eyes. Please don't mind them. Another thing that you can do is chill by your hotel pool. We're staying at the Shangri-La. They have this really nice jacuzzi and pool over there. Although I'm very much enjoying this hot tub situation right now. Somebody else isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's 33 degrees out here in Chiang Mai today, and we're staying at a probably. How hot is this? It's this as hot. Like coffee levels. It's hot. as hot as this coffee, but I find it relaxing. Tonight, because it's Sunday, you get dropped off at the Tapai Gate, and so it's a walking street that opens at 3 p.m. and it's kind of like a night market. So I'm gonna take you guys there as well. <laughs> To Riverside Restaurant, we just crossed the Narawat Bridge over the Ping River, and it sounds so complicated, but I just actually read this from the from the map. So anyway, we are at the Riverside Restaurant. We're gonna have dinner, and after this, we're going to Tepe Gate and hit the Sunday Market. What's your story? Speaking of Krabby Patty, do you know what the secret ingredient of a Krabby Patty is? What? Um. Have you noticed there's no other crab in the ocean in Spongebob except for one Mr. Crab? And it's called the Krabby Patty. Ambot ni madong. So the secret ingredient is... Is... Say it. I bought some pants, which you're gonna see probably tomorrow. Good morning, it is day two here in Chiang Mai and we are driving to Chiang Rai. It's gonna be a three hour drive, which is why I'm already up at 7 a.m. and I have my pillow with me. So I'll see you at Chiang Rai. <laughs> It's so detailed and so pretty. They spent over 700 million baht to make this. So um, this is supposed to represent hell. Hell, yeah. And so you enter the up temple the and you exit up in the heavens. Oh, clever. Okay. 
Okay, so no shoes inside the temple. I can help for you. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> and no photos inside, so I'll see you guys later. So these things hanging up here are tin leaves and they sell them outside for 30 baht. So many people have bought it and they put it up here. And rumor is he's probably gonna melt all of this and these over here create some other sculpture or art form. What does it say? What does it mean? Uh by make club it means go and never come back. Okay. Sleep and never wake up uh -huh. and no one can run away from this thing so it represents us a dead people dead so called life so this is crematorium dead people this place is kind of scary even the street cones are cute what? this is so awesome just a friendly reminder if ever you do visit the white temple you want to get here before 10 15 because at 10 30 there's a massive crazy amounts of people. So we got here just a little before that and we were able to sneak in a few photos. But right after that... <laughs> also, it's incredibly hot. Like, incredibly hot. You might want to bring a glass of water. I mean, a and bottle of water. sunglasses. Sunnies, a hat, sunblock, and get a drink because there's only one air-conditioned cafe inside. So, yeah. So, we have our cold towels ready for us in the car. Thanks to Boo. Guys, if you're ever in Chiang Mai, you might want to check out Boon. Boon? Boon! Boon! Something Boon! Boon, come on! So I'll put a link down below too where you can find him. Next stop is the Black House in Chiang Rai. And it's raining right now. So be prepared, bring umbrellas. This one. Whoa! It's an umbrella with an electric fan. Oh my god. Best invention ever. Ah. for throwing color onto a canvas and just mixing it around and creating something out of it. So you throw like a bucket of paint into this canvas and then he creates like a bird. Here's another one. So do you guys see the animal that he's painting? He actually only took 20 seconds to make this painting. So originally I didn't want to come here because they have all of these dead animal carcasses <laughs> everywhere but apparently he doesn't kill, he doesn't hunt these animals. Um, he just collects them from South Africa. So I think they already passed away and then he buys them. This is where the artist lived when he was still alive. And under his house is something I can't even put into words. Did he eat here? So creepy. What the hell? This is like a weird, really weird obsession. So creepy. It's like I, it's like a samurai. Where? Head oh of a yeah, samurai. that's right. And like weird hair. <laughs> oh I think so. God. He's obsessed. Like a nude wood carving, like this. It's a symbol <laughs> of a nude uh, wood carving. Uh, a spirit gate of the Aka. This is one of his bedrooms. Look on the side. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh my god, what what animal is this? Oh my god, you have a trick for buffalo. Oh shit. Okay, I'm, I don't like this. Bye. Baby pineapples. So apparently, this is very famous in this region. And smaller the pineapple, the yummy. Alright, you can split this. Baby The middle you eat? No. You can eat. It's so good. You like it? Yeah. Fresh, nice, and cold. What is this? What is this, it's love? A brass ring that uh, long neck people put on the neck. Busy <laughs> Simanoi. Hold it. Oh, so heavy. Hold it. Uh, OMG. Hold it. So, guys, we are in the long neck village. It's a hill tribe with the famous women with the long necks. So we're gonna see some later. It is a muddy, muddy, muddy trek. Uh, keep all the uh, all bad spirit away, but <laughs> this also, is supposed to keep bad spirits away. 
Okay. Oh, so nice! <laughs> They're all avoiding us. Hello! The ring that uh -huh. is spread on their shoulder, that oh. thing, if they want to sleep, they just release the one on the back and move up and down. Mm. So if they want to stretching the muscle, oh. they can lift it up and down. So nice! Mm. Saying try bana. Try bana. What does that mean? Hello. 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 Try bana. <laughs> oh, baby, pasha, nana sha. Another thing you shouldn't miss when you're in Thailand is definitely to take a Thai massage. <laughs> so right now I am walking to the Chi Spa at the Shangri-La Hotel. I'm super excited because these guys do the best massages ever. You like it? Tastes funky. Hmm? Tastes like getting some bottle. Primary. Ah, I see. These are the massage oils that we get to use. So pick one. Oops. I'm gonna choose this because it smells like my Vintner, Vintner's daughter. Alright, so now we're being led to my treatment room. you like it? Slater and I love getting massages, even back home. We can't always spring for a cheese ball massage. <laughs> it's not practical, but uh, once in a while, it's really worth it to splurge, especially if it's so good. I feel so relaxed now. I'm gonna talk like this because my eye bags are really bothering me. But as I was saying, the massage was really good. The difference for me, to as compared to like a more affordable massage, is probably you're paying for the whole experience. You're paying for the room, you're paying for the cashmere slippers and the robe, the atmosphere of the place, the oils that they use on you, and of course the expertise of the masseuse. She, well, if you come here look for Paula, she's really good. Um, the pressure she applies on you is just so even. Even if I chose a strong pressure, she applied it. Soft first and then went stronger which felt really really good and so I'm super relaxed and super refreshed for the rest of the day free tea after the massage the number one thing that I think you guys shouldn't miss when you head to Chiang Mai is definitely to visit the elephant nature park I loved it and enjoyed it so much that I made a separate video 